Hello and welcome back to. Oops, I'm. Re uh, uh, I full screen Firefox, but never mind. Whatever. Well, I'm still recording. This is going in my side. Yes. Uh, give me a second. I just remember and never. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this and to hell with it. <laughs> I as professionals. There we go. It's always nice to see people fail. Everything's already apart from the timer. There we go. Timer. Aha. Uh -huh. I've finally got that technology. Sussed? Yeah, let's see if I can trade it. I can't trade it. Oh well. <sighs> More ships for me! <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna attack that scout with a ship and just use... Nanobots! <gasps> Ooh, heck of a thing. There we go, it should repair some hull from that. There we go. Not very much hull, though. Hmm. Think an engine. I am sadly disappointed with that. Hmm. Anyway, whatever. Uh. Let's give this thing gun lots of gun. All the gun. 25 gun. Make it Metal Gear. <laughs> Make it Metal Gear. Girl! Mm, Metal Gear. Yeah, terrible. Enemy! Um, need to colonize that asteroid soon. But we'll get there soon. I don't feel like I should put a repair module on it. On what? My battleship. Like a huge titan like thing. Mm hmm. You sunk my battleship? <sighs> I'm gonna do it. I'll. That'll bring. That'll fill up the entire thing. The full slot. Okay. Really? Yep. Now, what's the name it? Hmm. What shall you name it? Good sir. Paladin, Paladin, Paladin. You're gonna name it Paladin? No, that's the class of ship. Ah, right, okay. I'm trying to think of maybe something relating to it. The only um, thing I can... The White Knight? Uh. Um, no, wait, Paladin's a piece of armor, is it not? Is it not like the shoulder blade? The shoulder part uh, of the armor? N uh, no. I, I, I know what you're thinking of, but I can't think of its name. But Paladin is a warrior, a knight of some kind, I believe. I thought it was also a thing. Could be wrong. Okay. I'm wrong. <laughs> it, it, uh, you might be right. I don't know. Um, no, no, no. It's fine. I know when I'm wrong. I know when I'm wrong. <laughs> what do we have to name this ship? Not very much. Mm, shame. I kind of got a reference. Did you? I could put it in. Hmm? Okay, what is the reference? The name would be Of White Dragon. The mm. Paladin of White Dragon. Oh, that reminds me of something. I wouldn't expect you to get this, uh, this reference. Oh, it's Yu Gi Oh, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is indeed. Ah, <laughs> 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 see! Surprised. <laughs> oh, I don't even watch it as well. You should. It's a good show. Well, it was. I kind of gave up on the motorbikes, but whatever. Okay. Um. At the motorbikes. Yeah. Um. If you don't know, you don't want to. Okay. Yeah, but it could be like you know, um, Power Rangers levels of cheese. We were just sitting there going, what? But you find it quite funny just to watch because it's terrible. Yeah, but this is a painful kind of terrible. <laughs> so it's not the hilarious, oh my god, we must get Zor, blah, blah, blah. It's no, like, that was mm. the first series. The second series, or the third series, I guess you could call it. The third spin off card games on motorbikes. No. Not a fan. I don't know that. 
I just remember that one where it was like a child or something. Uh, oh yeah, Yugi. And they had like big giant watch things and it's like, you seriously calling that a watch? Watch? I don't remember watching. It was like a big giant um, gauntlet in effect that was actually meant to be a mobile board. Oh yeah, yeah. The most impractical thing you've ever seen. Well, it's more practical than a giant playing field in position. Yeah, but still, it looks like something for smacking around an enemy more than actually playing cards on. Oh yeah, those things are deadly, but... You can still play cards on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's like saying, well, yeah, you could, you could, you know, use a sword to cut your foods. But you can also use it to kill people. <laughs> what? You could. <laughs> It's still true. Ah. Okay, enemy fleet, eh? I think I will fight V before V has a chance to become stronger. Is that ready to fight? Okay, one some of these guys have shields and beam weapons. So I'm gonna have to be extra careful. Hmm. Mm hmm. Go with my usual tactic. Run away? <laughs> no, that's my second usual tactic. <laughs> I'm going camouflage and repair. Ah, right. That's a reasonable tactic. Yeah, that shield are reducing the effectiveness of my lasers. Yeah, I kind of expected though. To yeah. a degree. Although my flak is extremely effective. Hmm. Right, and my well, legs are tearing them apart. In four turns, the system of care should be ready to take on pretty much anything that comes its way because it'll have hell of a defense. Awesome. But I don't think that's for the actual ships in orbit, unfortunately. I don't think so either. I think it just increases the time it takes to invade. Yeah. But on the plus side, my fleet is tearing them apart. But yeah, see if you're curious, some of the things in Disharmony is like um, more fleet control. So you can actually tell them to do a guillotine and stuff like that, which takes the um, front third of the enemy out. You can also tell them which order to arrange in. So ah. you can have the strongest shields up front. Or the strongest nice. weaponry. Yeah, I would kind of like to be able to manipulate the place of ships in the game. Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting. Care. Care. Yeah. Our ships would take a while to a mass, but when we do... They shall be a force to be reckoned with. Most definitely. Anyway, Kerr has almost got a full fleet. Just requires another two ships. Hmm. I'm researching friendliness. Yay! <laughs> then I'm researching weapons. You're researching table manners. Yeah. Table manners, level one. Hmm. Sorry about that, just eating. Hmm. I'm sorry, Chaps and Donner meet is a. Oh, what's the word? Addictive. Everywhere I have is building a super ship. A white mm. dragon. Oh, the Sheridan want peace. I'll happily take that, because I don't want to be in a cold war and have them suddenly turn against me.
Okay, and so has my ally with inverted quotes. Inverted commas, I should say. Quotation marks. That will do. Yeah, an inverted quote would probably be a comma. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an inverted quotes. What the hell are you talking about? Anyway, have the ability to colonize asteroids. Ah, thank you. I actually needed that. Really badly. Hmm. Nope. Colonize this huge asteroid belt. Then colonize the small asteroid belt. Then colonize the massive asteroid belt! <laughs> <laughs> then the world! Then the galaxy! Yeah, let's stop there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's start getting wet on the hero. What are you talking about? Okay, that was bad. <laughs> um, so let's go for the last planet, I guess. My throat starts to go dry. Give me a second, I'll cough that. I'll end turn. There we go, that's a bit better. Now I can speak! Uh -oh. Everyone's like, oh dear, turn the mics off. The mics off? The speaker's off. <laughs> oh. I'll just have more to norm then. Come on. It's a turn ending. I can eat. <laughs> hey, I'm not criticizing. I don't know. But is that because you've not got a right to, or what? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So. Hmm. Have I not got an exploitation on this yet? No, but I've got one coming. Or should have one coming. I think I'm gonna recruit a new leader. And you, Mr. Smerov. Smerov? Um, yeah, I don't have enough room. Sounds Russian. He probably is. Give me more room. Give me more room, Smerov. Is he not a spaceman, Smerov? A Russian spaceman? No. Like alien, not spaceman. Pardon? Is he not like an alien? No, he's... he looks human. Does he? Okay. That was just a guess. A bad one, of course. A bad guess. You're actually probably the first human I have. <laughs> I don't know if this female is human. She looks... I don't know, a pilgrim's human? Um, well, I believe so. Could be wrong. Okay. Well, which first human male I'll have. A humil? A humil. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm. Anyway, let's just continue. Hopefully I can get the asteroid that care and then get that um gravitix colony thing for the asteroid. You can colonize asteroids, can't you? Yeah. 
Oh, uh, you mean the, um, oh, that thing to get the bonus. I can give that to you. I've got it. Yeah, I've got it as well. Oh, but you need to put it on. Yeah. You need to put it on like a little dress. Oh, <laughs> like a tutu. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> what will I do? Just sigh and go. <sighs> oh. I can transform form this into a barren world. What's an Arctic do for me? Plus 9? That gives me plus 12. Knew what I'm doing. Finance. Uh, Arid world. Let's have a look. Yeah, you pretty much do best as finance and you even got that. So yeah. What about you? Research. Tundra. Hmm. So it's five per person. Yeah, technically it's better if I just go for construction for that planet. Eh. You jungle. Hmm. Your best bet seems to be just food for now, at least. Right, colony. Colonization tax. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some more um, research over in the right hand side. Hmm? Did you I offer me something? Nice. Uh, Thank you. And it's my turn. You're going to give me anti -math? Oh, wait, no, sorry. Ah, ooh. Ah, a cooperation agreement. I think that's will last for 20 turns, right? Ooh! For the first 10 turns, it's minus 50% on trade routes and effects. And then it's 0 on trade routes for 10 to 15, and after 15, it's 25 plus. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> They're giving me antimatter for it as well, so go for it. Probably a bad mistake, knowing me. <laughs> yes, I'll just agree, that, agree to this. Well, by the way, now you're in debt by three billion pounds. Uh, how do I run away? Just so you know, I've got about, in total in my empire, about 11,000 military strength, and I'm seventh. Have you? Yeah. That doesn't bode well for our opponents. <coughs> no, it does bode well for our opponents. That's the problem. Oh, yeah. It bodes well for, terrible for us. Hmm. Quantum couple disaster. Uh oh. The occasional problem when testing cutting edge theories is that sometimes nature gives a lesson after the test. This time, an accidental experiment of quantum couple particles has triggered the creation of an undesirable anomaly on previously unaffected planets. An anomaly <coughs> is randomly created on three planets. Uh oh. How many fleets have you got? Uh, cap fleets capable of defending themselves? Two. Hmm. That'll give me titanium for hexaferrum. So you've got two fleets and you've got how much strength? 11,000. Hmm. I've got one fleet and I've got... Um, 4,148. That's not spectacular. It's pretty underwhelming, actually. Personally. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, so three planets now have anom anomalies on them. Anomaly. Du, 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 du. <laughs> My perpetual flux is still okay. My stellar Bora is still okay. What could possibly have gone wrong somewhere? Irradiated acid rain. Am I looking at the right things? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that sounds great. Irradi irradiated acid rain. <laughs> Two separate planets. Hmm. Alright, okay. <laughs> wow, well, that would have been terrible. Yeah. Like acid rain is irradiated. Acid rain in a radiated form. Well, crap, we're dead now. Oh, jeez, here it 
This is where it went terrible. Uh, gears or. Okay, what happened to the gizzer? Uh, on my best planet in the system, minus 10 approval, uh, minus 1 food, minus 1 research, I had poor soil. Okay. On my second best planet, I now have high gravity, minus 20 approval, and minus 1 production per person. Mm. And on my third planet, I have poor soil again, so minus 10, dis minus 10 approval, minus 1 food, minus 1 research. Not too bad. Not spectacular though. No. Oh. Thank goodness but that ally that fleet is a ally. About nine thousand attack power just sitting at my home world. <laughs> That's not normally advisable, I should say. Not to notice it, I mean. Oh no, it only got here this turn. Ah, okay. Um So everyone's got 3D replication plants, so I just suggest we get some food going here. Oh, and again. they've explored Anyways, that moon. Have they explored this one? Yes, we have. So careful sweeping. Uh, what else? Pretty much from there, I think it's just food we need. I'm trying to grow the system of the car, so I've moved over my, um, what do you call it? Your leader. And I'm putting the fleet leader into a fleet now, instead of training him as a colonist. <laughs> uh, you know, like a colonial worker. Hmm. An empty moon. Ah, joys of joys. Yeah, I'll probably keep my care for now. You can move 20 parsecs, so... Is there a way of gauging distance in this? Um... I don't think, I think so. so. Yeah, I was about to say that. I don't think so. I'll have to look that up later. Anyway, let's end that. Okay. Also, how long have we run? We've run for 20 minutes, okay. I'll have another chip. <laughs> this is my dinner, I'm slowly eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they don't mind. If they do... I'm sure they're fine. Hmm? If they do, screw them. No well, thank you. Yeah. Hey, get your culture away from Naos. Naos. Why man can't help it? <laughs> Make my people unhappy. <laughs> Maybe they should just join my empire. <laughs> Empty moon, another one. Careful sweeping on care. Noise. And the car. Mmm, I was. And I can spy over whoever decides to orbit Naos. Yeah, I'm pronouncing it every way it can be pronounced. Because huh. I know one of the ways will be right. At least you'll be right once, at least. Yeah. I'll get there once. So, hmm. Could go like that. I'm gonna leave it there for now. Zakor. Um, Naos, can I make you happier? Yes, I can. Colonial rights, fine then. We'll give you bloody diplomacy, right? Jeez. 
they whinged about it for a long time. <coughs> ah, cry babies. Back in my day. <laughs> nah. So let's continue. Oh. Hmm? I'm making a deal, so... Ah, oops. I'll just eat, probably muting the microphone this time. <laughs> so, I'll be back. They really want a lot of money, don't they? Well, let's try it. That's where I can be lazy. You know, yeah, for not me to it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, am I losing just per turn? That's probably something I should keep an eye on. So, well, let's just see how much it would take them to... They want 400 dust per turn. Do you really like your Oricalco? Ouch! What for? Oricalco... Oricalcix. Hmm. Steal of Oricalco. Fifty points for that reference. Uh, no, you're not getting both of them. Really? I just want one more. Really, just want one more. Okay. Uh, fine. Screw you. Talk with the monkey here. Oops. Why am I saying mind? Do, do. Hmm. 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 Is that proposable acceptable? Yes, it is acceptable, reasonably so. Huzzah! Now, can you not set up a trade agreement with me? Uh, yeah, I'll do that in a sec. Half a known galaxy. Wow, I've mapped half a known galaxy. What matter? What the hell? Um. Why is green not in an alliance with me? No. Can you only have one alliance? Um, try and invite green to the alliance, because they're very close apparently with me. Which green? Light or dark? Um, United Empire. Um. The darker. Right. Right to alliance. The offer. Did you get one as well? Yeah, I can accept it. Okay, and we could make like a federation because I could invite um, Orange to the Empire as well. Okay, sure. Then I'll get us out this corner. Ah, uh, this will be awesome. We're making a federation. Yeah, a united federation of planets to go against the horrors of. Red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh wow! Look at oh. look at wow. Nalan. What? Where's Nalan? Oh, right at the very top. Nalan. Wow, that's a nice place. You see that aura? Aura. The um, sphere of influence. Oh yeah, yeah. That is massive. Nice planet as well, solar farm, friendly mm -hmm. locals, mutated flora. Ancient ruins, though there is poor soil on a helium gas giant. F good job for that, I guess. Okay. How do you get poor soil on a gas giant? I'm not even going to try and dispute. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. <laughs> well, I think... We shall end it here. We're approaching a 30 minute mark. Yes, and we've made ourselves a nice little federation, and we, I might actually be able to get out of this corner. We will crush the enemy below our iron fist. Iron boat! The iron boats! Anyway, until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.